Hi, in this video, I would like to talk about sliders. What is a slider? A slider is a videographic accessory that allows you to smoothly move the camera in a horizontal plane, left to right or a backward forward motion. Some sliders even let you move up and down. If this is executed with purpose, it really adds another dimension to your story. Camera movement can add quite a lot to your story if it is done with a definite purpose in mind. Here's a brief list of how you can use movement to A. Reveal a scene, establish a location, dolly zoom effect, see this video, talking head videos, see this video for a second camera angle, hold on a shot for longer period of time, give a unique perspective of a room for real estate promotional videos, maintain the pace or consistent framing with a moving subject as in music videos, emulate the environment, add complexity or make an otherwise static subject more dynamic. With this in mind, I have developed a couple of do-it-yourself sliders which are sufficient for my purpose. I have not invested in branded sliders which do the job pretty well. There are motorized sliders and non-motorized sliders. Linear sliders, curvy linear sliders, with and without parallax effect. They are either made of metal or carbon fiber, varying lengths, 24 inches, 48 inches and so on. The do-it-yourself drawer slider which I will be discussing in this video can be used as a standalone device as shown here in this video or it can be connected to a synchronous motor. You can see the operation of these motorized sliders here and here. Let's dive into a discussion of my slider and see some video shot with it at the end. Sliders are an excellent accessory, video accessory to get silky smooth movements. You can, the smoothness and uh, sideways movement and upward movement is unparalleled when you get that with a slider. But you don't see many people at events using sliders. I attended a few weddings in the recent past and uh, drone footage was pretty common, handled gimbals was there, they were using uh, handled cameras and gimbals, but I didn't see many people using a slider. I had the temerity to take my do-it-yourself slider to one of these uh, weddings and people were looking at me with the curiosity. So this is my do-it-yourself slider. It has been mounted on a Digitech tripod I will just remove it and show it to you. So basically a very simple design. A slider needs a rotary platform. So this you can see is the cabinet is a cabinet slider it has got this cabinet slider has got three layers as you all know if you look into your cabinet you will know so the top layer this is a top layer it moves on ball bearings on the middle layer here you can see the ball bearings here and the middle layer also moves on ball bearings in the bottom layer you can see those ball bearings here so Basically, for slider, you need some spherical surfaces for the camera to move. So, this, the length of this slider is about uh, 24 inches. So, I can get a 24 inch movement with this slider. So, the design is very simple. To, to the bottom layer of the slider, I have permanently fixed the quick coupling plate of a Digitech tripod which you just saw. This is fixed permanently by two nuts here at the bottom and uh, the to the top part of this slider I have fixed a wooden block. This wooden block in photographic terms is known as the carriage because it uh, carries the camera. So this is a basic uh, two inch wooden block on to the top of this wooden block there is a ball head clamp and the, to the top of this ball head clamp I have fixed a Ulanzi expandable phone clamp. I use phones like my S22 Ultra 
with this slider. I also used gimbals. I uploaded a few videos with the gimbals up here. You can have a look at it here. So this is the construction of this slider. The ball head clamp is uh, an essential part when you, use, when you use a slider because this allows you the flexibility to tilt the camera in any direction. Looking forward, looking backward, looking sideways. And these will all come into play when you are uh, taking com more complicated shots with this slider. Whereas if you had mounted the camera directly onto the screw, it is difficult uh, with, to mount the camera precisely because this uh, long screw, it's not precisely made and its length is pretty long and it could, uh, it will, the camera will still have a lot of play when I mount it to the screw. This is a one fourth inch screw, photographic screw. And this is fixed to this wooden block by two nuts here. And on top of that, I mounted this uh, bollard clamp. So this bollard clamp is acting as a buffer between this carriage and the phone clamp. And it is also serving a very useful function. The slider is supported. It can be supported here at the center by fixing it to a proper tripod. I have just shown you the Digitech tripod. Or if you don't have two tripods, you can have attached two wooden blocks here. To the bottom of these, there is a wooden screw wood, wood, and uh, I can place these two ends on two light stands and I will get firm stability. So the first prerequisite when using a slider is that you should have a stable base and then you can concentrate on moving the slider in any direction as you please. So I'm going to show you some sample footage captured with this slider and uh, see if they are useful. You will get amazing smooth footage with this slider.
Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel Madras Joint Replacement Center MJERC and press the bell icon after subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.